If a pre-built connector isn't available, you can use HTTP cards to make a request to a third-party service and parse the response in your flow. Your credentials are stored securely and a header is created automatically using one of the provided authentication types in the card. This will allow you to make requests to almost any API on the web and use it in your flows. With the HTTP functions, you can create authenticated connections using several HTTP methods. Raw request, close, delete, get, post, and put. The HTTP cards support three types of authentication out of the box. Basic, custom header, and OAuth. Basic requires a simple username and password scheme that's built into the HTTP protocol. Workflows sends HTTP requests with an authorization header that contains the words basic followed by a space and a base64 encoded string of your username and password, separated by a colon. OAuth 2.0 is a protocol that allows you to grant limited access to resources within a third-party service without the need to expose your credentials to Okta workflows. Before beginning the OAuth process, you must first register a new app with the service. When registering a new app, you usually register basic information such as application name, website, etc. In addition, you must register a redirect URI to be used for redirecting authentication back to workflows. Selecting Custom Header allows you to create a custom header name and value from scratch without any assistance. In the event you want to access a public API that doesn't require authentication, you can select None instead of any of these three options. It can also be used to manually create your API connection when none of the other options apply. Regardless of how you create your HTTP cards, it's important to remember that they are not tested automatically in the way you've come to expect with cards that use a pre-built connector. To test your connection, use the test that card functionality in your flow.